Coach Calhoun, welcome to the BCAM podcast. We're very happy to have you here at the clinic with us. So one of the things at our BCAM is we really focus on developing coaches. We have an aspiring coaches program. And one of the things we talk about is mentorship. Can you talk a little bit about mentors that you've had in the game and how important they've been for you? Yeah, well, first of all, let me say this. I think what you're doing uh, is absolutely awesome. Uh, I think, you know, on so many lo- so many levels. Um, so I think uh, this pod is going to get more and more popular because I think you're, you're doing a great job with it. But, yeah, I think mentorship is everything, right? I mean, that's really what coaching is. Um, I've had several. Um, been very, very fortunate. You know, it started for me at, with Raleigh Massimino uh, when I was a player. You know, he was a coach that I looked up to. He knew I wanted to coach. Um and he was tremendous. Um, but I've had a lot, a lot of guys. Uh, my high school coach, Ted Kwasniak, uh, I believe he's won five or seven state championships in the state of Ohio. I've kind of lost track. Wow. Um, you know, Jeff Young, another guy I worked with, and then uh, certainly Bob Huggins, um, my former boss. So I've had a lot of mentors, and I think mentorship is really important. And that's why we have a program in our uh, at YSU at Youngstown State for our players. Mm. They all have 13 players have a mentor. Tell me about that. Yeah, so it's kind of like a dating site, a dating service. You know, we meet with our guys and we match them up with what they like, right? It'd be the same thing as you're going on a dating app and trying to find a match. So, um, you know, what it is, it's it's a program that my assistant brought to me Mm -hmm. um, from from Earl Grant. Uh, He did it at the the College of Charleston. And um, it's it's basically our players, you know, it's such bigger than basketball, right? It's It's an opportunity for them to learn and grow and in the field that they want to go in. Um, so we spent a lot of time with it, and uh, it's been really good. Awesome. That, what a great program. What a great idea. And so our September theme, Coach, is being a lifelong learner. And we're here at the clinic. You did a great job. Coach Izzo did a great job. What are your thoughts on being a lifelong learner, how important that is in this coaching industry? Well, I think there's a lot of ups and downs, um, you know, with coaching throughout the season. Um, you know, you're really coaching – um, you know, pretty much all year round, mm-hmm. right? So I think a lot of coaches, COVID happens. A lot of guys have been burnt, you know, got burned out. But the way I approached it was I wanted to get better. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so when I was in my basement for those six or seven months, I can't tell you how many coaches that I reached out to and how many different things that I tried to do. Uh, and I've always had that mindset, right? Mm-hmm. Whether it's reading, uh, studying different coaches, learning from our players, um, Angela Duckworth wrote a great book, yeah. uh, one of my favorites, um, you know, really on the growth mindset, mm-hmm. right? Are you, do you have a fixed mindset? Do you have a growth mindset? And one of our core values in our program is growth. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it really uh, is really important to, to the individual and to our team. Love that. Love that. And so we also have an aspiring coaches program. We, we believe at BCAM, it's really one of the toughest times to be a head coach but also maybe one of the most important times. Mm -hmm. And so we're developing these head coaches. What advice would you give to an aspiring head coach? If they want to have a long, distinguished career, what what advice would you give to them? Well, I think there's a little bit of everything, right? Obviously, um, you know, you have to take time for yourself. Mm -hmm. I I think individually, personally, you have to grow every day. Um, If you're not in a good place, how can you lead others, right? So you have to do a really good job to – kind of keep that level of consistency within yourself. Um, you know, I think you have to be able to relate to the players mm-hmm. nowadays. You know, times have changed, right? There's a, a thing called uh, Twitter and there's a thing called uh, TikTok and Instagram and whatever else comes with that. Um, I'm in the belief that you have to adapt, you have to adjust. Um, I think there's no better time to coach, but I do agree with you. It's very important that we get good, continue to develop good coaches um, because they have such an impact on so many players. Um, so I, I would just say, you, you know, you got to be consistent in, in your approach, right? Whatever you're doing daily, um, you have to be consistent because players are going to kind of follow that. Um, and then develop the relationships. And as Coach Izzo said, um, the great programs, right, the ones that, that continue to win, those players come back. Why do they come back? Because they have great relationships with that university or that high school coach or that high school program. And that's really what life's about. Uh, It's really not about the wins and losses. It's about those relationships and those lessons. Right. Well, you're in the same division as one of BCAM's best 
friends and Coach Greg Campy. Can you tell us a little bit about your relationship with him or maybe share a story about Coach? Yeah, I got a lot of stories about Coach Camp. Uh, I met him. I was at West Virginia. I was the director of basketball operations, and I got a call from Greg Campy. They were coming to Morgantown to play, and he wanted 50 um, football tickets or 40 football tickets for his travel party the next day after our game. That's where our relationships kind of started. Um, but I tell you this, when I got into the league seven years ago, um, from the Division II level, right, you come into a situation, you don't know anybody. Uh, first year was very, very difficult. Uh, Greg Campy was always there. Mm. Uh, Greg Campy has become a true mentor of mine, a great friend. Um, when he comes to town, I take him to, to my favorite restaurant in Youngstown called Aquapazo. You'll have to ask him about it. He took me to dinner last night in downtown Detroit at a great Mediterranean place. We probably talk every couple days. Um, you know, we don't uh, really uh, shy away from that. Even when we're about to play, we kind of joke uh, about certain things. But I think he's a special guy. He's done so much for Oakland University. Um, you know, they got to either do a statue um, or uh, there's got to be something here at the university when he decides or, um, you know, when he stops coaching. Um, but a true legend, not only in the state of Michigan, but – nationally as well wow well thank you for your time coach we really appreciate it thanks for having me my name is dan young i am the executive director of bcam the basketball coaches association of michigan we are the largest coaches association in the united states we believe that better coaching always matters it's a really difficult time to be a coach but at the same time it has never been more important time to coach we couldn't serve our coaches without the support of our sponsors. Rawlings, Huddle, Shootaway, United Dairy Industry of Michigan, Bology, Game One, Baron Rings, Coaches Insider, Gatorade, and the Detroit Pistons. We encourage our members and listeners to support those who support us.